Uh, is it Mail Monday already? Well, I guess we have to get into it. All right, Woody, it is Mail Monday, and you know Welcome what- Welcome to Mail Monday! Today I grew up and me wants to show you some fan mail that we've got. You can talk? Wish for the sky! You're watching Today I Grew Up. To infinity and beyond! Welcome back, partners, to Mail Monday, where we feature your letters and packages once a month. Let's get into the first letter. So the first letter of today, partners, is very long. So I'm not going to read the entire thing. But if you would like to read this letter, you're going to have to pause the screen here, then pause it there, then pause it there. But basically what he was trying to say in this letter, David sent this letter all the way from Michigan. So thank you so much, partner. Basically, it's about Woody having a gun. In the back of the 1995 box, it did say a traditional poster and cowboy doll who misplaced his handgun years ago, which I have featured on this channel before when I bought a vintage cap gun on eBay, but it looks like we got another one. So a while ago, I got this cap gun on eBay. It's a vintage one revolver. I got it and I thought it looked cool to put on Woody's holster. And uh, on the collection one, it does barely fit. It is a little bit big, I noticed. So it doesn't really fit that well. I got this really nice Woody's Roundup logo on this wooden box, looks vintage. I really like it, so thanks for sending this. And let's open it up here and look at what we have here. We have a mini vintage cap gun revolver. So my understanding is back in the day, these were sold uh, and it was kind of like a play thing. And they're all kind of a little bit different, but basically you put a little gunpowder or I'm not sure what it was made out of cap. And when you pull the trigger on it, it does make a loud sound and it does blast some smoke. It doesn't actually shoot anything out from what I know. Here's my vintage cap gun and here's a new one. I kind of like this new one better because it is smaller and this one's just a little bit too long the barrel and let's see if it fits and it's perfect. Yeah, that's way better. So I think this uh, is definitely the best revolver size for Woody as you can see the barrel is poking out there. The other one was just a little bit too long on Woody. So thanks partner for sending this in. It's really cool. I might cut this uh, keychain. It looks like it used to be a keychain part off. But other than that, maybe paint the handle white. Should I leave it black? Let me know in the comment section below how should I customize the handle or just leave it the way it is. I think it looks really cool. And now uh, Woody has a revolver. That'd be so crazy in the movie if Andy's dad never, or Andy himself never lost the gun that it came with. Because back in the day, I think a cowboy doll would come with one. It just makes the most sense. Well, thanks for sending in that gun. But uh, where's my gun? Next, I got some upgrade stickers in the mail from Joey from Arkansas. Thank you so much for sending this in. I got two sets here. Basically, what you could do with these is get a Disney Store Buzz Lightyear, get these sticker applications on it to look a little more accurate. So thank you for sending this in. This is really great. I'm going to make this a future video feature and get a Disney Store Buzz and see how these stickers look. Thanks for sending that in, Joey. Yeah, thanks, Joey, for the new stickers. They're going to look great later. Next letter is John from Arkansas. It says, Dear Today I Grew Up, I sent you some of my potato head eyebrows. They are made of hot glue, so I hope they survive the heat. They are yours to do with as you please. Thank you for providing all the great content over the years. Your Spuddy, John Watson. Number one, I love that you say Spuddy. I think that's so cool. I haven't really heard people use that in real life, but I should start using it and call you Spuddy. But John is great. I love this drawing of Mr. Potato Head. And guess what? Your eyebrows did survive. So these eyebrows right here are very cool. They're designed this way to look like they're separated behind the eyes. And these are for the Play School Toy Story 4 Mr. Potato Head from 2019 release because the eyebrows were not separated. But now with this really quick, awesome custom mod, you just slip it on behind the eyes and the eyebrows will look separated, which looks more true to the film. So I will be doing a video in the near future showing that off but that's a quick preview for you partners. Thank you so much, John, for sending this in. You partners wouldn't believe it, but I got all these letters from one person. Thank you, Hunter from Oregon. I got all your mail, so let's check it out. Today I grew up. If you have the idea of mailing the signature collection vest and the Toy Story 4 Woody talking action figure with no push button voice and no hat and only has his postering printed, printed on his back to my house, let me know. Signed, Hunter. Sorry, Hunter, but I do not have any extras for you at the moment. Today I grew up. I tried to find a replacement arm for my Thinkway Toy Buzz Lightyear action figure. If you know what the part of the arm looks like, I'll send it to you on Instagram. 
and maybe I'll find a spare parts store that has this signed hunter. I hope you find an arm. Good luck. I don't have any extra of those either, but they are pretty common to find if you just look for them. So best of luck, partner. Today I grew up. My grandpa found me a Buzz Lightyear toy in a desert, and he's going to help me find a replacement that can bend in the elbow in the desert. Signed, Hunter. Cool. I love your drawing and coloring of Buzz's arm. It's actually really good. Thanks for sending this in, partner. Today I grew up. I'm going to 3D this stand for my Hasbro Woody to stand. Signed, Hunter. Nice drawing of a stand. I really like it. I hope you do get a stand for your Hasbro Woody. That sounds very awesome. Today I grew up. If you found this signature collection hat at Goodwill, mail it to my house. Signed, Hunter. Every time I go to Goodwill, I don't find Toy Story toys. But if I ever do in the future and I do happen to find one, I'll think of you, Hunter. Don't worry. But thanks for sending this in. And a nice drawing and coloring of this Woody hat. You did a really great job on it. Today I grew up. I hope you can mail this pull string lanyard to my I only need it with only the string so I can fix my Hasbro Woody. Sign Hunter. Well, I don't have any extra lanyards with strings, but you can get them on Amazon. I did do a video about that once for my custom pull string voice box. So if you need one, check Amazon. I don't have any extra, but thanks for sending this letter in, Hunter. And the last letter that Hunter sent in is this awesome drawing of Woody and his vest. I love the detail of the hole that you put here on the back of the vest, which is where the pull string comes out of. So that's really awesome. And here is Woody himself looking really cool. I love the details he did with the boots, the jeans, and the shirt. A lot of lines on the shirt. Very accurate. Very cool, partner. I really enjoyed all your letters. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Hunter, for sending all this in. Last letter of today says, Greetings today I grew up. Inside this package is a collector's item, platform nine and three quarters journal book, and a John McCain book for yours to keep as souvenirs. Have a nice month of September. Dream Big Productions slash Plush Pat Fan. Here we have the platform nine and three quarters, Hogwarts Express. Let's open it up. Nice book, actually. This looks really good. And yeah, it goes like London to Hogwarts, it says. So that is very cool. I believe this is uh, from Harry Potter. Wow, that's actually really interesting. That's pretty cool. So there's some more details. And yeah, very nice, partner. Thanks for uh, sharing that with us. It's very neat. I don't have anything like this in my collection, so I do appreciate it. A very cool journal from Hogwarts Express. And then we got Man of the People, the life of John McCain, an American. I just have one question about this Man of the People, John McCain. Was he a space ranger? Well, partners, let's get into the voicemails. Hey, howdy, hey, partners. It's that time again to listen to the voicemails that we got. Hello, today I grew up. Uh, my name is Timothy. I run a channel called D10 Studios 235. And I just wanted to say that I love how your Woody 3.0 came out. It looks very accurate to uh, Toy Story 2. And uh, yeah, I hope you stay well, partner. Bye. Thank you so much, Timothy. You're a great partner for calling in and letting me know that you enjoyed the Woody 3.0 mod. That was something I worked on for a very long time, so I'm very happy it's finally out. Although I am doing some upgrades to it once again, so it might be Woody 3.5, which will be revealed in a future video but everybody go check out timothy's youtube channel that he shouted out i'm sure it's got amazing content and it's gonna be awesome so let's hear the next voicemail that we got hey yo it's that girl what's popping bro when you gonna do the oh wait never mind that's a dumb question i'm sorry you like scary movies nah i'm, I'm kidding <laughs> you know what please do me a favor and do not put this on the mail monday please don't i'll try to send a different one that you can put one on if you want but yeah sorry <laughs> sorry <laughs> Yeah, bye. Thanks, partner, for calling in. That was actually really funny. I know you said don't put it on Mail Monday, but how could I not? Come on, that was just really funny delivery. But I really appreciate you calling in. Do I like scary movies? I will answer that question. I don't like scary movies, but I like vintage ones, like Jaws, one of my favorite old-time, technically, it's, I guess it's a horror or thriller, but Jaws is my favorite, uh, one of my favorite Steven Spielberg films. Amazing, amazing horror film. If you love sharks, you're going to love Jaws. <laughs> and that's why I really love it. But thanks for calling in. It's You know, there's there's no dumb questions. The only dumb questions are the ones you don't ask. Let's hear the next voicemail that we got. Hey, today I grew up. I love you. You're one of my favorite channels. I'm a big Twitcher fan, and you're a really good channel. Thank you so much, partner, for that call. I'm really glad you're enjoying the content here as I work really hard to keep it going for the partners. Let's hear the next voicemail that we got. Hey, it's me from... 
episode 62 of Mail Monday, and I found out what kind of Woody, my Woody is. It's a interactive hat Woody. You have a great Mail Monday. Bye. That's a really cool partner that you have an interactive hat Woody. That was one of the ones that was kind of a cool gimmick where Woody would know if his hat was missing if you put it back on and off of his head. It was a really fun play feature and something I think a lot of collectors missed or did overlook, but it is a really cool uh, Woody. I never owned that one, but it's really cool that you do. I think it's probably shot up in value by now. I'd have to check, but let's hear the next voicemail that we got. Hi, today I grew up. This is Sebastian Valdez. I just have a quick question about my Buzz Lightyear. Do I actually do a movie accurate head? And the uh, movie accurate Woody doll was not right. I used a Disney store body, movie accurate hands, and a head, but it was not right. I have movie accurate boots, and I need a small nail that I can use to go through the boots, like full Kung Fu Panda. Mind if you can send me a voice box as well? Thank you. From your biggest fan, Sebastian Valdez. Thank you. Goodbye. Well, partner, that's cool that you're working on your custom mods. Unfortunately, I don't have extra parts to give to people or, I mean, normally I would sell it because these things are expensive and cost me money. But I think it's funny. I, I literally get asked every single day, today I grew up, give me free stuff, like free voice boxes, free woodies, free buzzes. Um, I'm not Mr. Beast rich. I'm barely making it month to month. So uh, yeah, I would be very poor if I just mailed all my toys away. So unfortunately, I'm not able to give free toys away like that. But I really am happy that you're working on custom mods. So best of luck, partner. You know, like I always tell everybody, work hard, dream big, never give up. Put your mind to it. You can accomplish anything and make impossible into possible. Let's hear the last voicemail that we got. Hey, sir. I've been trying to get into your videos for a long time. I've been leaving you voicemails for a long time ever since I was a kid. So could you could you just feature me in a video? My uncle died, and I'm feeling really down about it, and I've been your kind of guy for a long time i've been wanting to see you not in the other way not in that way i've been wanting to see see your video and see me featured in it so i'll see you later bye subscribe to my channel my name my channel is Lisa Llewellyn. thank you so much partner for that call i'm really sorry to hear that your uncle has passed away it's very sad when family especially people we're close to passes it's never fun and it makes you reflect a lot about life and existence which i've done and unfortunately in my family i've lost family members as well so i understand it's very painful it is not fun and it's just a part of this life journey unfortunately but maybe there's something positive you can look forward to in terms of keeping his memory alive in your heart and in your mind and through the stories you tell and that's how our relatives can live on and I really appreciate you sharing that. I know it's very personal. And also, thank you for the support over the years that you've been watching my videos and leaving voicemails. I really appreciate that you're still here on this channel to support what we do here on YouTube. As always, partners, thank you so much for listening and contributing. If you want to be part of Mail Monday that are featured once a month, all you have to do is leave a voicemail at my voicemail number and or you can mail something to my P.O. Box and you can get featured and get a shout out for the next Mail Monday. Always work hard, dream big, never give up, put your mind to it, and you can accomplish anything and make impossible into possible. And that's how our dreams can come true. If you would like to call in and leave a voicemail, it's 909-312-4548. That's 909-312-4548. If you partners would like to be part of the Today I Grew Up Mail Monday show, all you have to do is copy the address here on the screen. And whatever you send in, we can review and give you a shout out for the next Mail Monday episode. As long as we have mail coming in, we can keep these Mail Mondays going forever. Take care, partners, and you've got a friend in me. You want the real buzz like you? You're a, uh, you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child plaything. Hey, him. Look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it.